up blackheads I'm on my way back from the garage just installed the alternative external breather system and I also messed with the FP3 a little bit the uh, fuel pack I'm trying to run an auto tune on it but I don't know it's acting kind of weird maybe that's uh that's what happens whenever you do run auto tune see you hear that little pop and it keeps on kind of uh, getting really low at, at idle I did set it up to where it has a little bit of diesel pop. But you can hear that rumble when you come off of the throttle. That right there. Oh shit. Man, it's weird. Being in a full face helmet, I hear a mixture between like sirens and like rap music. I'm so confused. Yeah, it seems to be doing okay at idle right now, so. I don't know, man. Is that dude on a little ruckus or some shit? It does sound a little different at idle. It's more like a blop, 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 blop. Need to go have some lunch. Fucking hungry. What up, fellow rider? Asado. Asado. What's this guy doing? Just going and collecting signs. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have Wawa wherever you're at, but yo, they make some bomb sandwiches. So a couple things I did to the bike during that trip, um, I guess the, the biggest noticeable one uh, physically is I added the, and I'll get out up here and show you guys, or get out, I'll get off up here and show you guys, is the, uh, the new hose external breather system instead of the um, external breather bolts. So basically this has external breather bolts, but the bolts are going into uh, two hoses and then into a filter so the blow by that comes out of those basically won't get all over my damn bike so it'll keep it clean second thing I changed the angle of the gauge up here so it's not as um, I don't know laid down like that so whenever I glance over it's more like facing me and then I uh, I messed with the fuel pack the FP3 trying to run an auto tune on it first two times I actually selected the map at um, it was weird, it, it like started up and then it died. Oh shit, I should go by that place, check it out. See, so yeah, I messed with the fuel pack and uh, I don't know, the first two times I tried to start it up, it died. But then I ended up selecting like a different base map and uh, started it up, but yeah, it's connected under there. It is idling differently. It's got more of like a, kind of a stall to it. It is dirty. Deer Tay. Joe Dirt. So uh, that's it right now. Now, normally I had those two bolts in there beforehand, but unfortunately with the new breather bolts that are going into these hoses, they didn't have room. And so I've currently sealed that with um, some of that silicone self-adhesive uh, tape and uh, I'm gonna find two smaller uh, bolts and nuts and washers to kind of go over that but I don't know man there's really not a ton of room in there we'll see how that holds up definitely not a permanent solution though so there she is that's that's that newness so beforehand the bolts would basically the blow-by would come out into the atmosphere and it would go back and it would get on the bike. You can see some of it like right here even still left over. And on the on the pipes, it's like a fine oil air mixture. It would get all over the side of the bike, so that sucked. So, the fix, still venting it externally, basically runs up these hoses. It's not gonna blow all over the side of the bike and it'll catch in this filter. Um, and then they said this filter is pretty thick, so. I don't imagine too much of it should accumulate or drip or anything like that. So if it does, I can always ride it to the bottom, have it go down here instead. So we'll see. I did uh, change the tune to have some decel pop, which sounds kind of nice. I don't know, it's blowing smoke. Probably not the best thing. I don't know, we'll see when I get home. Anyway, so, that's the latest. Let's go across the street and check some of these bikes out, yo. Jeez, light, come on, man. 
I know as soon as I turn right though it's gonna turn green and it's gonna be all in vain. Alright, fuck it. Now it turns red. F you light. I knew it. I called it. Summon a beach. Whatever. Where do I park? Alright. Stay bike. Don't go anywhere. Need to find Mrs. Blackhead something small that she can get on. These are definitely not it. Too tall. What if you can rent them? That would be something perfect for her. Like these little baby ones. These little tiny babies. Bunch of Harleys. There's gotta be used inventory, I'm assuming. Some quads. Some jet skis, man, they got it all. Jigster. GSXR. Little Triumph. Man, that one is all leaned forward like crazy, you know? <laughs> Fuck, you would ride that. That's crazy. Damn, dude. This is not comfortable. They're way mad leaning forward. Ugh, I could not do that. Well, 600. I'd say that's more my style, but this one's pretty cool. Had some cool little bikes in there. Oh, look at that! Little Spider-Man bike. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Spider-Man R6. So yeah, they said had some pretty cool little smaller bikes. Some that are suitable for Miss Blackhead. Damn woman, cutting it kind of close. But it didn't look like it to you guys because y'all know how the GoPros are about that. I am hungry. Need some food. What am I gonna get? I don't know how I'm liking the uh, this new little tune. I'm gonna have to look up some more stuff on Auto Tune. Auto Tune. Need to look up some stuff on getting a Wawa sandwich tune. Ugh, I can't look at what time it is. I'm gonna run this beast hard. Try and get it auto tuned up. Damn it! Come on. As soon as I say auto tune, you gotta like do a big hiccup like that. Cool, bro. And man, this thing is, I don't know how I feel about this. Come on, don't pull out, don't pull out. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I like the D-cell pop, man, that's nice. It's got that throaty blah, 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 Yo, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a paint job on that car, or looks like, looks like when you buy a steak before you cook it. that paint job though. This guy got red hair. Like perfectly matches his hoodie. Yup. How the hell did he get it to perfectly match? Shit cray. Shit cray. I wonder if he just has a bunch of red clothes like that or if he just wears that hoodie like at all times all day or a day. Into red hoodie. And what does he do when it's not cold? Does he have like a red t-shirt that he wears? Or is he just gonna take that hoodie and like cut the sleeves off? Make it into like a short sleeve hoodie? Which sounds pretty stupid now that I say it. Because it's still hoodie material. It's still be nice and thick and warm. Just short sleeves. Oh, fuck. Pretty sure it's speed limits here like, what, 40, 45? Something like that. Uh because the bike makes you all vibrato. <laughs> or it makes your voice like, uh, God, red lights all freaking day so far. Come on. I'm pretty sure there's a cop back there. So I'm gonna be on my best behavior and getting past. I don't know, with this tune, with how it's acting, kind of weird. It doesn't give me like a ton of confidence in the bike. But seriously, beforehand I was getting like 36 miles per gallon or something like that. I was supposed to get like 50 something. Usually I'd go between like 60 and 70 miles before I had to, uh, before my tank light would come on. 
or my gas light would come on. Dude, I've hit like every freaking red light. Swear to God. Swear to God. It's so stupid that the speed limit here is 35. So I gotta head home, probably clean up a little bit, and then I gotta pick out an outfit for tonight because I'm going to the ball. Nah, it's not a ball. Miss Blockhead and I are going to my company's holiday dinner at this swanky restaurant, which is pretty cool because, you know, the company that I work for, they pay for, it's like a four course meal or some craziness. I wanna get over there. You guys stop cutting me. I don't think it's letting the engine rev down as quickly. And so it's like causing me to shift weird. Anyway, so yeah, the company I work for uh, is paying for dinner and drinks and all that good stuff tonight. So uh, we're gonna be doing some of that. They say it's cocktail attire, so. I think I have a button-up shirt, uh, throw on like a blazer, a cocktail attire blazer, and uh, maybe a tie, probably not a tie, because I hate ties. Thought about doing a bow tie, but I've got a beard, so it's pretty pointless. Can't even see it. Oh, mother see. It's like a terrible spot to do that, that little hiccup right in the middle of an intersection. Kind of made me lurch forward. I am not feeling this auto tune, man. It's jerking me around like crazy. I'm gonna have to do some research, like I was saying. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there just because this thing is acting crazy. Let's see if I can reflash that map. Damn, man, you see that? It's ridiculous. I'm out. You guys ride safe, stay vigilant. Until I catch y'all next time, uh, you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the like button. And uh, yeah, until next time, deuces.